Charterman, 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 Let's go, Giants! Let's go! Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharp Miss Prime here. I'm not really a huge sports fan, but, you know, it's been a long time since the Giants have really done anything. So, um, you know, I'm really stoked about uh, Giants in the playoffs, and uh, sorry, Mr. Mad Gus, about uh, taking that first game from you. Um, but anyway, uh, Marvel Legends Yellow Jacket. This is an early uh, release from Hasbro's uh, takeover of the Marvel Legends. Um, not a very cool figure. Not a big fan of it. Uh, I like the sculpt. But it's the paint that bothers me more than anything. There's no real detail um, as far as paint, you know, going on. It's just very lacking altogether. There's no shading at all whatsoever throughout the whole thing. There's two um, things I want to bring up about the paint that I do like. Is the face right here seems to have a better flesh tone than most of the earlier Hasbro flesh tones. But it's still not great. But the face right there. And then he does have a little bit of gold on the belt like that. But, you know, you can see there's just nothing going on as far as the paint goes you can see some of the uh you know on this logo that the yellow is coming through the black it's not on there very well and you know yeah it's been around since around 2007 i think this came out but still it was like that when i had gotten the figure and um yeah so you know i guess i got a different color yellow for the belt right there but still kind of coming through the black wish he was gold um if you guys have the marvel legends wonder man figure it comes with a little yellow jacket right here and this looks cool i mean this thing's really 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 tiny but i really liked the paint choices that they gave this yellow jacket i thought it just looked really cool so i was kind of hoping to get a similar color scheme going on for a you know six inch yellow jacket but we did not. Um, now there is a Marvel Universe um, yellow jacket coming out, and um, or it may be out. If anyone's uh, got an extra one and want to sell me, let me know. There's a variant to this figure that uh, comes with a dark orange color, darker orange color, um, which I'm still not a big fan of. If you want to see it? Check it out right here. Skadoosh. So the articulation on it isn't really bad. And like I said, the, the sculpt is pretty cool too. I like how these fins right here don't really obstruct any of the articulation at all whatsoever. And I do like, you know, the bug eyes and the antennae right here. So that works out well. Um, the articulation is basically the head. It's the same as a Quicksilver slash Captain Marvel slash everything. Um, you know, he's got shoulder things right there. Another fucking shoulder thingy right here. Fucking bicep deedly right there. A double jointed thing right there. Swivel here. Lift up and down right there. No articulation there. No articulation here. Torso goes bendy. Waist goes swivelly. Uh, ball joinies and uh, swivel and uh, McDoodly and the thingamabobber and pivot. Does and up and down. Um, he's got no holes at the bottom of his feet so you can't put him on any stands and he doesn't have a hole in the back right there so you can't put him on a, fl a flight stand or anything like that you can't put him on a base or a stand so i was trying to say but yeah that's my uh, review of marvel legends yellow jacket oh yeah by the way uh, click on the link below um the late ed wires did a prototype of this figure amongst some of other uh, some of the other early Hasbro figures, so check that out so you could see what um, his version of this figure would have been if they'd taken it, you know? Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.